So you're not real good when it comes to the whole maintenance thing. By that I mean you're not one of these people who can just be shown a problem and have any idea of how to go about fixing it. Oh sure, you own tools, but you're not sure what they all do or how they all fit together. However, you have way too much pride to ask a neighbor and you don't have enough money to get a professional to do it. So that means that even though you don't know the difference between the type of screwdriver heads and you have to count every single line in order to get a measurement on your tape, you're the one that your family brings all their little problems to and is expected to keep your house going. So even though you are by far the least qualified person to do this kind of work, it's all on you to keep this place running. You are the non-handyman repair guy. Today we're going to talk about tape. Tape is amazing stuff. There's a lot of repairs that you can do uh, using tape. Now it's important that you embrace all the different kinds of tape that are available to you. Okay? So you want to think duct tape. Duct tape is really important. You want to get yourself some masking tape. This stuff, you can do a lot with it. You also want to get some uh, electrical tape or plumbing tape. That's good too. Okay, you also want to get your hands on packing tape. Very strong, very useful, very good type of tape. There's also... Uh, th okay, hold on, hold on. What, what is this doing here? I thought it would be funny. Funny? No, we're not going for funny. This is my first video uh, as a handyman. I need to show the people that they can trust me. I need to show them that I command respect. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about all the wonderful stuff you can do with tape. All of the wonderful stuff you can do with tape. One great use for tape that you may not be thinking about is on your car. See, I have two. I got the van right here. You got the car over here. They're both black because I found I was able to get black tape. Now, why that's important is if you look right here on the vehicle, you see we're having a bit of a we're having a bit of a rust problem. Now, this is perfect for tape because we actually have a hole. You can see, right? We have a big hole in the metal, and this is when this is when it's important to have to have tape. See? We'll just take some of this black tape. It matches very well. So you need to take that into consideration when you're purchasing your vehicle. We'll just put a little bit behind the hole. See? So that's gonna be our filler right there. And then we'll just take a bit more. Top. See? And then we'll take a hair more, not a whole lot, and we'll just take it there and we'll just bend it around. See? Let's take that off. And there we go. Now, see? All done. No one will have a clue you ever had a problem. Good as used. See? It's also good. It's also good here. See, our cosmetic strip was coming off. So we just use the exact same stuff, black duct tape, just taped it there. And now we can drive around in confidence. Nobody will have any idea that there was a problem. It's black, the car's black, the tape is black. It's all black, it's all fixed, it all looks right, it all looks normal. We have some other rust spots coming on, but we don't have to worry about that because we have a lot of tape left. Now, one other thing that we absolutely have to point out is with the car. It's starting to rust too, but if you come with me, It's starting to rust too, but as you can see, we don't have a hole here yet. Because we don't have a hole, we don't want to waste any tape. What we'll do here is we'll just spray paint over it, and then the rust will come back, and we'll spray paint over it, and the rust will come back, and then when we finally have a hole, then we'll put tape on it like we did the other one. We don't want to waste any tape on this until we have a hole. But once you have the tape on, you can drive around in confidence. It's, it's good as used. Everything is great. We'll go back in the house. Another great application for tape is actually in your bathroom. 
You know, may not be thinking of it, but you can actually do a lot of repair work in your bathroom with tape. I've been doing a lot of work in here anyway, just to kind of spruce uh, the place up a little bit. But uh, there is an area that I haven't addressed yet, and that's the ceiling. As we can kind of see, if we just take a step into the, the tub here, is the ceiling, we're having a bit of an issue with it starting to chip and, and crack off a little bit. That might scare you if you first see it, and it is something that needs to be addressed, but you know, it really is not a big problem if you get tape. This is athletic tape, okay? You can get this at your sports store. Okay, what's really great about it is it's good with moisture, with sweat, so it's very good for use in your bathroom. And what we're going to do is we're just going to unroll it, just rip off a strip, okay? And then we just kind of kind of put it up there. Okay, now it may take, it's gonna take a few strips here to get this done. Up there, I think we're going to need one more. I think yeah, this stuff's really strong. You can use it on your body, but you can use it on your ceiling too. Okay, and uh, there you go. I might put one across the other way here as well, just to kind of hold it all in place. Ah, there we go. See there now that that's fixed. Okay, that is done, and uh, now it's white, it's the same color as my ceiling, so I don't have to worry about painting it, but if I do ever want to paint it, um, athletic tape paints over really nice and it'll hold the color, and so that is finished. You don't have to worry about getting sticky, about getting dirty, you don't have to worry about plaster or putty or anything like that. Just use athletic tape, tape it over, and it's done. That's how not intimidating that this uh, can be. But as you can see, if you look at my ceiling, I've got a lot of other patches that need some work, and uh, this is only going to take me, you know, a matter of minutes to finish all this off. I just have to go out to the store and get a little bit more uh, athletic tape, and then I'm uh, then I'm good to go. So don't be intimidated by this. Don't be worried about it. You just you don't have to pay a lot of money. You don't have to bring in a contractor. You just get some of this, and uh, and and you're okay. All right. So we have one other spot that I think we need to look at it now. Dad, my arm hurts. If you have a child who's in pain. Ow, my pain hurts. Did you know that tape is actually really good for that too? So if we have someone who's hurt, all you need to do is grab a cotton ball, a napkin, a used Kleenex, whatever you have, and hold it against the pain. If you just put your finger right there, that'd be great. Okay, and just grab yourself some masking tape. You need to take enough tape to deal with the problem. And then we just quickly uh, wrap that around here. Okay, now, stay like that for the next 24 hours, you're good to go. See, with tape, you can be a doctor too. Another great use for tape in your house is actually uh, you can just fix your walls. As you can see, right here, uh, we have a hole in our wall. A little information about our wall is this is actually a wall that has been wallpapered. It was painted over, it was wallpapered again, it was painted over. This has happened a number of times. And we were having uh, some people over for dinner and our son Nicholas thought it would be fun to uh, pick a chunk of the wall off while he was while he was sitting here. And uh, so now we have a now we have a hole. But we don't have to be worried about this. It's sort of unsightly. But this can be repaired uh, really easily. All you need is some masking tape and some athletic tape, the same stuff we just used on the on the bathroom ceiling. So this masking tape is going to serve as your filler. Okay, you don't need to worry about putty or anything like that. If you have this, this will serve as your filler. So you just need to get a little loop, a little loop of masking tape. Okay, and just kind of fit it in the hole. Make sure you uh, get what you need in accordance to the size of your hole. See, that fits very nice. Now you can either leave it like that, or if, like in our case, we actually still have the chunk of wall 
uh, wallpaper that was taken off. If you if your heart is really attached to it, okay, you can just stick that right back on. See, that looks nice. Creates a nice consistent color on the wall. You don't have to worry about uh, worry about discoloration or anything like that. And then what we do is we just cover it up uh, with this athletic tape. It's the same color as my wall, so that's fine. I won't have to repaint, but if you do maybe have to repaint, you can either get athletic tape in another color, or you can put it on in white. It just paints, it paints over really nice. So what we're doing here is we're just covering the hole with the athletic tape. We'll just use another strip here. And I make and there we go. See? That's that's nice. That is finished. That is done. Again, you don't have to call in a guy, you don't have to use putty or plaster or get all dirty. That is taken care of. Nobody will notice. You won't have to worry about it. You can paint over it. It's taken care of it and you can look like a real hero around the house because you fixed the wall. recommend that you do not take his advice. If you don't know what you're doing, hire a professional. But please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next week.